Hi everyone, today we will learn about internal carotid artery and its branches. In figure, here is left common carotid artery that divides into external carotid artery and internal carotid artery. And also, here is right common carotid artery. The external carotid artery supplies the face and neck whereas internal carotid artery supplies the brain. The internal carotid artery has four parts, initial cervical parts, then the petrosal part and then cavernous part and remaining one is cerebral part. So we will describe about different branches of respective parts of internal carotid artery. Here this is internal carotid artery. This is shown from lateral view. Here will be anterior side, posterior side, superior and inferior. So internal carotid artery has four parts. Cervical parts, petrous part, cavernous part and cerebral parts. And talking about different branches, the cervical part has no branch. The petrous part has two branches. One is carotico tympanic branch and another is artery of pterygoid canal and then inside cavernous sinus inside cavernous sinus that is cavernous part here is branch superior hypophyseal branch trigeminal ganglion artery to trigeminal ganglion and inferior hypophyseal branch three branches are there and in cerebral part there is middle cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery, anterior choroidal branch, posterior community branch and ophthalmic branch. So in cervical parts there is five branch, in cavernous part there is three branch, in, in petrous part there is two branch and in cervical part there is no branch. So internal carotid artery, cervical part, petrous part, cavernous part and cerebral part the cervical part has no branch the petrous part has carotico-tympanic branch and pterygoid canal branch and cavernous part has superior and inferior hypophyseal branch and the trigeminal ganglion branch the cerebral part has five branches anterior cerebral branch, middle cerebral branch, posterior communicating branch, and ophthalmic branch, and anterior choroidal artery or branch. 